Oh, glory. I pray you all back and, uh, and enjoy the films. And, and maybe you're getting something from it and learning. And, uh, oh, my goodness sakes. I'm having my coffee this morning and trying to get woke up. May everybody have a blessed day. May God bless your families and your homes, your children. May he send his angels to watch over you and keep you out of the harm's way. Oh, my goodness sakes. It's just been something in it. Oh, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord. It's kind of hard to tell people about the things to come and, and about the disaster that's really going to come upon this nation for its approving of the abominations. It's just unreal because the world, even the Lord's own people, don't want to hear that kind of destruction that's going to come. Eventually, it's just going to keep coming and coming and coming. Disaster upon disaster, and they're going to keep getting worse and worse. But the country will survive. It'll, 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 it'll restructure and regroup. And when everything starts calming down and everything's supposed to be peace and safety, uh, behold, destruction cometh from the law. Uh, the Bible declares this, and uh, it's... And these people of ISIS that they're doing their job of setting the nations in fear with a handful of warriors. <laughs> we got the elite of the elite. Uh, my goodness sakes, those Navy SEALs could go over there and uh, have this thing done and over with and be sitting back with having breakfast right there and having their coffee. <laughs> and you never know they even been there. You know, uh, the special forces, my goodness sakes, <laughs> all they just need is let them do their job. But you see, these people, they're, they're doing their job of setting these nations in fear. They certainly are, and the Bible talked about all of this, and, you know, they're standing up for what they believe in. And, man, it's a lot of things to talk about, a lot of things to say. But my goodness, you know, here we go. You know, it, it's just unreal where we are at in our own day and time and these are just the beginnings of sorrows of setting things up towards everybody crying out for protection protection we got to know who belongs here who don't and 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 you see he, uh, the the lord talked about the abominations of the desolations of daniel you know he said when you see these things stand in the holy place for your redemption draweth nigh so you see now is the time to be standing in the holy place. Now, now's the time that you better find that holy place with the Lord in your heart. And, and you know, please find a church. We all beg everybody to please find a church. We're not about to tell people to stay out. Uh, I pray that pastor can teach you something. And, and you need that fellowship and and uh, with the people and you know those grandmothers and grandpas. They can help you out because they've been through so many hard times and they know they can help you by how they was able to get by. They did it in prayer. They did it in trust in the Lord that he was going to get them through this. So, But you see, Christ talked about the desolations of the abominations by Daniel. And when you see these things, he said, stand in the holy place. You're going to see that in uh, St. Matthew chapter 24, uh, I believe it's uh, verse 15. You know, when you therefore shall see the abominations of the desolation spoken by Daniel, the prophet, he stand in the holy place. It has parentheses, whosoever readeth, let him understand. Well, that's the hard part, is where are we really at? You know these people that, that came in down through the years, and uh, even in our growing up, that's, that's came over here from foreign lands and the foreigners and uh, buying out the churches and setting up their Buddhas and, and their golden dragons and doing all their... They're worshipped as of the way they do. They're not the ones running around killing everybody. They're not the ones killing everybody because uh, we're not bowing under those idols. You know, they stay to themselves. You know, they're not, not the ones that's causing all the, 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 the chasing down the people and, and trying to destroy people that doesn't believe the same way as what they have been taught to understand. It really is something to, to, to really, truly figure out what in the world is going on. But every bit of this has been given uh, to see where's the people going to cry. You know, is the cry which it will be, Almighty President, Almighty Warriors, stand and save us, which they're going to do their job. They're going to protect this nation and other nations uh, from the threat of persecution uh, of all kinds. You know, they're, they're actually standing and, and doing their job, thank goodness for change, and actually trying to chase this stuff down. 
and to disperse these people, but they're by the millions and millions around the world. But they've been taught to believe it that way. You know, they, they, it's just so much you could, you could speak about. But when you tell the people uh, about all the, the things to come and what's really going to come upon our own nations for its own doing, for its approving the things that, that God declared to be an abomination. You know, even the apostles uh, spoke about it. Christ spoke about it. He named all these different things that, that addressed what it really is the abominations. And, and, and what's, uh, you know, it is an abomination unto me, uh, it said in the Lord, you know, and they warned the people, they, they, they said it in a different fashion, they named all those different things, and it's declaring the abominations of the, the desolations, and when you see those things set in the church, set in the temples, uh, now look what they're going to, they're going to uh, uh, allow to take place within a church, uh, you know, the, the, the gaze is going to sit on one side and the lesbian's going to sit on the other. And guess where the children's going to sit? Right there in the middle. Well, you can't discriminate. And they're in there singing, when the saints go marching in. You think? Yeah, you, you, you know what I'm saying? Oh, my goodness sakes. You see, because they see nothing wrong with it. And now we, there's preachers standing up and, and, and claiming the same things. The Catholic folks going to do gay and lesbian weddings? Well, what can we do? We can't stop it. You know, we're not to hate them. We was to love, love them and, and, and to try to, to, to show them that, 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 that the Lord can bring them out of this stuff. But the world's going to go in the way of the world, and it's the way it's always been. It's the way they've always done. They love the abominations. They don't like anybody telling them what's right or what's wrong. And that's just the way it's always been. It's just absolutely unreal. When we were trying to tell some people about all those storms that was going to be coming that Dad and I saw from his vision versus mine, you know, th these people, they would they would come up into the room and they would say, Oh, God forbid, you know, uh, remember the story of Lot, if he could only find 20, if he could, you know, 30 and 20, and, 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 and oh, just remember the story of Lot. You know, you see, they, they totally misteach the story of Lot. Well, here you go, when we got students and novelists and trainees and, 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 and a bunch of students that that's, that's, believes they're ready to preach and teach, and they've heard people speaking all these fancy sayings, and it becomes a saying that gets handed around the world and throughout the churches, and people just love it. But they totally mis, misteach what actually took place within the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. They use the the, 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 the the idea that because we've got all these churches, uh, you know, that speak in the mighty name of Jesus, that God will not destroy you. Well, it's going to stand all the way to the end. But guess what? When you when you look at back here in the back of this Bible, this world at the very end after that thousand year millennium, it's going to be totally destroyed because it, it declares in the book of that they saw no more sea. There, there was no need for the moon or the stars. Uh, and the sun to shine because they're finally entering into the kingdom of heaven when that kingdom comes down uh, after that thousand year reign and all of the saints enter in into the, the holy kingdom of the final kingdom and it says the Lord God and the Lamb are the temple thereof in that kingdom there was no temple found because our bodies are the temple of the Lord. He's got all the angels and the prophets and the saints uh, and all of his creation there that's there with the Lord and entering in and with the Lamb. <laughs> to ever be with the Lord. But they totally mis misteach the concept of, of Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh, it's just totally unreal because they say, oh, we've got all these churches down here. Oh, my goodness. You tell them about the destructions and that, that, that we tried to show them, that we saw uh, well, nobody wants to hear that stuff. You know, we all want to hear peace and safety, right? Well, the things are going to come. They're not going to stop the angel of the Lord that has already gone out against the nations and this nation in, 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 in destroying and bringing things to, to make people wake up. Uh, there's not one bird that falls from the sky that the Lord don't know about. You know, there's not one person that's died within any of these disasters or any any of these tsunamis, any of these uh, F5 tornadoes, 
uh, any of these earthquakes that the Lord didn't know who was, wasn't written in the Lamb's Book of Life and, and knowing already but who wasn't simply just wasn't going to come. So you see, people's going to be born, people's going to die. Oh my goodness sakes. You see, well, uh, Abraham, he got the Lord all the way down to 10. He got him all the way down to 10, and the Lord said, I would not destroy it if he could only find 10. I was thinking in some other sermons there, I think I messed up. I think I, I, I was trying to remember that he got him down to 5, but there was only 4 that was brought out. They were brought out to safety, and then the Lord did destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. So you see, it didn't stop the destruction that was going to come, just because there were some people there within the lands of Sodom and Gomorrah. It didn't stop the fire and brimstone coming down, because the people loved the abominations that they were pre-warned about. And they loved it, and they dwelled therein. This nation is doing the very same thing within this very nation. And how, what they're approving against this nation and against the Constitution and the laws, taking uh, anything that has anything to do with the gospel uh, completely out of the courts. Uh, I, 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 and, and you can understand why. Because of versus what this one believes versus that one. But every bit of this is hitting and walking into the doorsteps of the end times, of setting things up and setting things in order, that when all of these major disasters and major things take place against these lands, and, and, and for an example, I was showing you in the film, uh, in the last film there, you know, the, uh, of what, giving you some highlights of what Dad and I saw in, in those visions that we were given. Look how easy it would be for this nation to be set in fear, in any nation. You know, we all love to see skydivers, you know, parachuting down or skydiving, you know, down into the crowds, and you're going, hey, is this guy going to be a terrorist? Or is this guy just here for the show? You see how simple and easy, and we're not trying to give the other side any ideas. God forbid that any of it would come, come to pass. You know, we love to see those hang gliders just flying over, you know. And those, those fellas got those little mini planes, and you know, up there, and just flying over and just gliding over. But what if, what if that's a terrorist? You see how simple and easy it is because the, these people learned how to fly planes, they learned how to fly helicopters, they learned to, to, to fire ammunition, they, they studied to be scientists, they studied to be chemists. Uh, you know, they their country paid for all of their schooling over here. You know, it's all of our countries that's trained them in, in, in well, the study of knowledge is free. You know, it, 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 anybody can go. But yet when their, their country stands up and says, we're going to stand together and we're going to put them in fear, exactly what they've done. They're putting the nations in fear. Our elite, they're going to take care of these, you know. But where's the people's cry at? It's going to be almighty president and almighty warriors. Well, there'll be some gospel people cry out and say, Lord, we, we need peace and safety. We need the protection. You know, we care about our children and our homes. So you can see how it always comes as a catch-22 uh, in every way of all these things setting the things up for the end times. So when this man comes into power, all of that power is given through the power of of a nation and of a ruler of that nation and he's gathering that power of the nations and then when he's gained that power because of the forced things that's been forced upon them in gaining that power then that power is always handed over unto the man who's actually going to sit upon the throne of david and everybody's claiming that he's God, and he's telling everybody that he's God. Everybody's believing that he's God in person. And then he breaks the covenant <laughs> and tells everybody there is no such thing. The Bible records this. And he's, he's, he's setting in the temple that they will rebuild. 
maybe in our lifetime, maybe in the children, the grandchildren to come. He's sitting in the temple and he's cursing God and mocking God and denying there ever was such a thing. The abominations of the desolations of Daniel. And when you truly study into the, the abominations of the desolation spoken by Daniel, it wasn't just setting up golden idols and, and bowing down into it. It's the things that God declared to be an abomination they are accepting and placing it and allowing it to be within a temple, a church, a place of worship. Taking what is written from the Word of God and turning it into the love of the lust and the fun of this world. So hopefully we got that little bit straightened out. Those storms that Dad and I saw that was just totally unreal, I could describe them. My visions to a teaser this day. It's like I'm watching a movie of it and all I got to do is focus. And I can see it again like watching a video. I'm just watching it and describing it in every last detail. I think I've said Oklahoma City in the last film, but it's the suburb of Moore, Oklahoma that was right there in Oklahoma City on the south side. We saw in those visions seven years before that this, this city would be hit twice, that it would be world-breaking winds running through those cities and destroying it, and it was like ten days later that storm came right back through its very same path while they was regrouping, restructuring, trying to recover, rebuild, and clean. Destruction came again right set through that very same path in destroying what was left and what was they were trying to start over. This is exactly what our vision saw. Dad's vision versus mine. He gave, recorded his, and I recorded mine. Then we traded back and forth. Dad, let me play you mine, and then I listened to his. His was just a little bit in a different sidestep, but the understanding was the same. We also saw right there within the, the Joplin, that fire, that right after that, that there would be a calming down. But then within a day or two, there would be a destruction upon destruction of destruction that would go through the northeast. Well, that's exactly what happened after jo it hit Joplin. It was like the next day or the day after. Seventy tornadoes was recorded with it hitting toward the northeast. We saw that destruction, but not knowing where we were at, other than we both knew that we were within this, the heart of America. Not knowing the day, the hour, the year, or exactly where. But one thing's for certain, the angel of destruction has gone out. These prophets are not going to call these storms back because God's not going to hearken to them. They're not going to calm down the storm. You see, that, that angel of destruction, he's limited on where he can push and shove. If it's not going to be allowed for him to push, he can push in that direction and, and, and destroy. He's limited on where he can push and shove because he has to have the permission of the Lord where he can push and shove and destroy. Not one bird falleth from the sky that the Lord don't know about. The Lord knew whose names was written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And He knew those who was never going to come. So we pray that the Lord keep you in peace and safety as well and protect you and your family and your homes. 
this nation will stand all the way to its end, but every time they think it's peace and safety and a calming down and a restructuring and regrouping, behold, destruction cometh from the Lord. Is your name in the Lamb's Book of Life? Is it really there? Well, I pray you're right. He can part those clouds at any day and any time. And he's going to say, come up hither. He has always provided a way of escape and a special remnant of his people. May you all be blessed. May you stay tuned. And I'm going to give you possibly in the next one a miracle that I watched with my own eyes in my dad's ministry when, in my growing up. The miracle of Gideon that we read here in this Bible. I actually watched it with my own eyes when I was growing up. That takes faith. That really takes faith. But anyway, we'll see what happens. And may you stay tuned. And may God love you. And may you be blessed.